everybody. Hey everybody. Yeah, this is the first video for the month of June and as always it's for our possibility piles. That is right. We've decided this, early this year to call our TBRs possibility piles because sometimes we just don't stick to them. So <laughs> these are But these. there is a possibility that we shall read them and so here we are. Exactly. These are the books that we might read, we feel in the mood to read today. Who knows if it's going to yeah. be books we and, feel and, like reading during the month. And, and you know, and, and, so, and so on that note, uh, yeah. I think it's time to begin. I'm going to kick things off. There are two books that I got from publishers that I would like to read this month. The first is She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan, which comes out in July. This one, I think I've mentioned before, the comp titles are Mulan and the Song of Achilles. It's a bold, queer, and lyrical reimagining of the rise of the founding emperor of the Ming dynasty. This is a debut author, I believe, and I'm very much looking forward to reading it because I know quite a few people who have also gotten the chance to get their hands in an early copy, read it, and really loved it. Cool. The next book, well, and the covers are coordinated, I know, which I did not nice. plan, but apparently it's lovely. Works. Really nice uh, thanks to sunburst. the lovely team at Orbit, I actually have this finished copy of The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri, who is an author I have not read before. I shall read you the summary of this one because that is literally the reason why I wanted to read it. Trapped by her despotic brother within the crumbling walls of an ancient temple, Princess Malini dreams of vengeance. Forced to disavow her birthright and her power because of her past, maidservant Priya dreams of freedom. In a world beset by wild magic and turbulent uprising, their destinies will become irrevocably tangled, and together they will set an empire ablaze. Listen, gotta love, love that. it when uh, love it when we get a good female team up. The next book I'm going to read is on my. 12 to read in 2021 list. Ooh, the book is at The Sound of Stars, which has the very, very lovely cover. I think I've talked about this a little before. Oh, it's by Alicia Dow, in case you were wondering. This is about a girl who is trying to maintain a forbidden library of media on Earth when all of that has been outlawed a while ago. Sure, yeah. And then there not? is an alien who also is interested in all of these like human forms of creative art. So they end up relying on each other, and so they end up embarking on this kind of crazy road trip in order to save the day and I am very much looking forward to checking this one out. It sounds sense. unlike anything I've read before so that'll be fun. Lovely, lovely. The next book is the, one, is the one that my friend Rachel chose for me to read this month. Every month I've been reading a book that someone in my life has chosen for me and her book pick was The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. It says on the back, Barcelona, 1945. A city slowly heals from its war wounds, and Daniel, an antiquarian book dealer's son who mourns the loss of his mother, finds solace in a mysterious book entitled The Shadow of the Wind by one Julian Car Carax. But when he sets out to find the author's other works, he makes a shocking discovery. Someone has been systematically destroying every copy of every book Carax has ever written. Hmm. In fact, Daniel may actually have the last of Carrick's books in existence. Soon, Daniel's seemingly innocent quest opens a door into one of Barcelona's darkest secrets. An epic story of murder, madness, and doomed love. Murder, this sounds madness, and so interesting. Love. I'm very intrigued and can't wait to check it out. So in June, my friend Danica and I, Danica will be linked down below, we are actually going to be reading a series together because... Apparently, we both just like reading and yelling at each other a lot, which has happened a lot this Time year. Time-honored tradition uh, in this house, really. So I'm finally going to be starting the Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The first book is from Blood and Ash. And I really don't know anything about this one except the names of the main characters. So sure. it's Poppy and Hawk. Poppy is the maiden she's chosen. She's kind of set apart from everyone else for a very specific purpose. Hawk is her bodyguard. Things happen. I've heard that the beginning is a bit slow in this one, but then it really ramps up by the end. This has gotten a lot of love from a lot of people. I'm curious to see where I'm going to fall sure. on that spectrum because this is a very popular series. And we are hopefully going to be able to read books two and three as well. We'll see if that actually happens, though. Here we go. All right, I shall turn things over to you for sure, a moment. Yeah. So I, I have a realistic possibility plan. Well, you, did, you did pretty good last month. I did pretty good last month, all things considered. So I'm going to start with a, uh, with a five-part sort of like a five issue series called Edge World. Okay. It is by Chuck Austin. Eh, suffice to say it is one of those backwater planet main characters mm -hmm. are sort of like the only thing preventing the humble, uh, quirky inhabitants of said planet from facing total anni annihilation against alien invasions ah. and you know As um, one does infestations from random it's just think of all of the space shenanigans and think of like a quirky crew of mm. people who are we're the only thing you know it's, it's very cool so i i like that i like i like that a little bit so so definitely putting that on the pile 
I have <laughs> The Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, Volume 1. Only because I did start the, the anime. But I sort of want to see what it looks like on the manga side. Because the thing about... The, the, so my brother loves this, this, this show. And the reason why we love it is because the, the main character who got reincarnated into mm -hmm. a slime is actually like some th mid-30s salary man. So he's approaching every single pr otherworldly problem as an adult. For my brother, it's it, it's the most sort of like wish fulfillment slash sort of like I feel seen kind of moment because it's an adult going, okay, logically speaking, these people are going to have these motives and therefore, or it's like based on the usual power sets that we found about uh, from people of different like writers who have done all of this uh, like fantasy stuff, then chances are that, and so he just logics his way through sort of life, which is so... So it's so meta in that sense, and so I. I'm shaking my head here. I I love that. I I love that that, that exists. And as somebody who's exiting their mid thirties, and very well almost right there at the brink of their forties, I think it's I think it's just lovely to see grown ups like on uh, not because I glorify that <laughs> definitely wish for something. I have ooh, so Dungeons and Dragons every so often releases sort of like graphic novels, and this particular one is a Braxis Run of Eberron. Okay. And the Eberron, I want to say, property, module, whatever, uh, in, in Dungeons & Dragons, sort of like canon. Made for Artificers. That's sort of like a new class where, and you played an Artificer that one time. I did. And, and those classes are pretty cool because you get to blow stuff up and you got guns and like That's cannons right. and, you know, uh, and you got to make stuff and then you get to infuse your, your, you know, weapons with like, well, not even weapons, just stuff. You get to infuse stuff with power. Mm -hmm. And that's always fun. So I like to read that. Then I, uh, on sort of like my last sort of set of possibilities, are the first issues of, I want to say, series by a couple of actual, you know, book authors. Okay. Starting with James Patterson, Witch and Wizard. No, I've read that one. Oh, book. you have? Yeah, a okay. long time ago. Oh, really? Okay. I just don't remember why I didn't continue it. Well, I might find out. Yeah. But the manga might make it go down a little easier because it's a story about a brother and a sister. Yeah, that's why it's I sort read of contemporary it. times, right? Yeah. And they're sort of like randomly arrested because they run afoul of some kind of organization who wants to get rid of all of the magical people and um, hence which wizard. And that's that. And then there is Shades of Magic Volume 1, Steel Prince by oh, Vinnie Schwab. Oh, the prequel series. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that would probably be a nice way to I get my toes but wet I... uh, V Schwab wise, I think. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Because hers... Hers is a vast collection of, like, she's pretty prolific, I think, as oh, far yeah. as writers go. She's got a lot of books. So, so to sort of, like, dive into the world of V. Schwab, I think uh, this might be a great way to do that while I'm still in my book funk. And I think I realized that I'm not in my book funk because I'm, I'm, we're not on the subway anymore. And I don't have time to quote-unquote kill. And that's usually when I read the most. It's, it's when I'm on subways, I read, I read pretty quick. Huh, and then I finish funny. a lot of stuff. And I I'm actually always read least on subways now. Interesting. And, 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 and now that I'm always home... Right. You're busy doing other I'm things. I'm busy doing everything else. So that's that's my list of possibilities. You got any bonus things to mention? I do have a bonus thing to mention. So one other thing that I'm hoping to do in June is read all of Jane Austen's novels. Uh -huh. and I've tried to do this once before and I failed How it? at it. How so? Just because I got distracted. <laughs> All right, that's hey, but, that's better than you. You got put off, right? No, 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 it was never that. I feel like I'm in a very good reading zone. Like now, I read a lot in May and I was enjoying most of it. So I Let's will be have the reading you all care, six of me, these. Let, let They're hold. quite heavy, so Mac is just gonna hold them for me. <laughs> these are the Chiltern Publishing Editions. We have Persuasion, Emma, Mansfield Park, Northanger Abbey, Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility. I'm actually reading them starting here, going up because that's publication order. I have actually read Sense and Sensibility more than once. I think I've read it like three times now. Pride and Prejudice, I've read twice, and both of those books I really enjoy. I I love Pride and Prejudice, but I definitely prefer Sense and Sensibility. I think it's just because I like the characters in that one a whole lot more. I have never read any of these, although I'm pretty familiar with Emma just because I've seen so many like Movies. retellings. I watched Mansfield Park ones. I have never watched it, but I really, really want to finally read Jane Austen's work. Like I just feel like it's something that I want to do for myself. And since I've been doing pretty decently at my classics reading this year, also, I thought I was going to throw that in as a bonus project so that I can call it Jane in June. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's Jen and Jane in June since I'm reading Jennifer Armentrout's series, so Jen and Jane in June. Lots of alliteration. Triple J. <laughs> but anyway, those are my bonus reads, so hopefully I will also get to them this month. All right, so our future is brimming with possibility. Yeah, lots of excellent possibilities, actually. Can't really complain. Let us know what you guys are planning to read for the month of June. Hopefully. Yeah. This is like a small fraction of what I want to read, by the way. I have other things lined up, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to deviate at some point from my TBR, so... 
We're gonna find out. Oh, some cool word of warning to you now. Some cool stuff's dropping in June too, so it's gonna be cool. Yeah. Anyway, we hope you guys are doing well. If you want to find us on any other social media sites, the links are down below, as always. And we'll see you guys with a new video soon. Bye! Bye.